Thank you very much for inviting me and for the introduction. Uh, delivering care in remote communities, I will give a brief idea about what we have done in Egyptian villages. Uh, as you know, Egypt had uh, one, and I'm very happy to say had, one of the highest prevalence and burden of chronic hepatitis infection worldwide, mainly genotype 4. And that epidemic was uh, resulted from poor injection safety practices during the anti-chistosomal eradication campaigns in the 60s and 70s, and plus ongoing unsafe medical practices. <clears throat> there was a national response uh, against that epidemic development of a comprehensive action plan for the prevention, care, and treatment of viral hepatitis, and that was started 2006 by uh, the National Committee for uh, Eradication of Hepatitis at that time, and recently negotiation of low prices for originators and genetics direct acting antivirals, and then establishment of large treatment program uh, all over Egypt. At that time, 63 treatment sites covering all over Egypt. And from 2015 till 18, we treated about 2 million. And then we estimated that we have another 2, 3 million uh, who doesn't know that they have hepatitis. So. Uh, uh, this, most of these people are in rural communities, which accounts for about 60% of Egypt. And to achieve the goal of HCV elimination in Egypt, a strategy needs to be increasingly towards case finding through mass screening, especially in rural communities. Also, continued high rate of new infections requiring ongoing education and the behavior change interventions. Uh, we, as an NGO, parallel to the national program, implemented a scale-up of community-based educate test and the treat model from 2016 till 2019, just before the start of the big screening campaign. Uh, and the objectives was, number one, to demonstrate the feasibility and effectiveness at a scale on key outcomes, uptake of serology, B testing, linkage to assessment of viral load uptake of treatment, cure, and then incidence of new infections. Objective number two is to derive lessons learned from that experience to be expanded to other villages in Egypt and internationally as a model of elimination of hepatitis C in rural communities. In Egypt, as a, an example, people usually doesn't move to the big cities for health care. And many of these, either females who don't move from their uh, villages at all through their lives, and one more factor which you may not imagine, many people don't have the money to go to the big cities. So that project is we have to go to them at their place. Initially, we made a model in one village, uh, an educate, test, and treat program towards elimination a community-based demonstration project in one village, and it was published in Lancet Gastroenterology. And then the key features of that model was community mobilization, fundraising for public donations within the villages, comprehensive free testing, and linkage to care and treatment, 
and education campaign. Scale up between 2016 to 19, we covered 73 villages across seven of the 27 governorates in Egypt. The assessment, treatment, and the monitoring, rapid diagnostic tests, and same day sample collection for PCR, and the staging of liver disease and fibrosis stage, starting treatment, and then a monitoring uh, protocol. And the key outcomes assessed in each village tested those eligible for testing, linkage to PCR testing and assessment of fibrosis stage, initiation of treatment and giving that free of charge to those who are HCVR in a positive, completion of treatment, and then follow up for SVR. And this uh, shows that we have in 73 villages have uh, screened uh, about 168,000 uh, persons. Uptake of testing was 92%. 17% were HCV antibody positive. All of them, because it was on the same day, all of them had PCR and 50% were positive, 52 1.2% were positive, and we treated about uh, 13,000 patients, and the 99.9 the completed the course of treatment, simply because we gave it at place free of charge. And the uh, SVR was 97%, and the 3% who relapsed were treated again, so we reached 100% cure. This patient characteristics of almost 160 HCV anti-positive and RNA positive persons have very important thing, the fibrosis stage, 20% of our patients were cirrhotics when they started treatment. More importantly, about 17% were F3 when they started treatment. So about 37% were advanced fibrosis and even cirrhosis. This was very important finding for future follow-up. <coughs> This was the treatment protocol, and we concluded the feasibility and effectiveness of large-scale community-based educate test and the treat model. And we estimate the treatment coverage at 82% and confirm substantial progress towards elimination in accordance with the goals of Egyptian National Action Plan and targets of the WHO uh, additional impact of that model, raising awareness about hepatitis C and the hepatitis B, even vaccination, early detection and management of HCC, identification of persons with advanced fibrosis and cirrhosis, successful treatment and retreatment of those who have failure. And we have implemented the model in another 30 villages so we reached 103 villages, and that was just before the start of the governmental big screening program of 60 million people in Egypt. So 2015, one village, 2016, 10 villages, 17, 20 villages. Before the start of 19, we announced 100 villages free of hepatitis, and that was the date. We, we stopped because uh, the president announced screening of 60 millions uh, uh, to discover the new cases all over Egypt. Village of Free of Hepatitis Project, this is 
what we have said about the cure and the good cascade of care. We published the results of 73 villages in Journal of Hepatology. And this shows some important pictures, how important are females in the villages. The education of females and have village promoters, female village promoters, local nurses from the villages, teachers from the villages can be the leaders for education, testing, and treatment. <coughs> These are some pictures, how the people are motivated and how females are very important. Uh, these are some village promoters and uh, some lessons, education. These are some of the leaders in many villages. We have a session for all of them and they ask questions and they learn and they teach the people. <coughs> this is, shows how was the activities and the teaching of the village promoters, which are very important. Uh, what we have learned is that the model should be simpler and quicker. So we started to try to do everything in one day, meaning to screen, to do PCR on the same day, with the help of gene expert, which could be portable, ultrasound portable, fibro scan portable, so why not in every in the same day? So we did a study for the feasibility of doing uh, screening and giving the treatment at the end of the day. <coughs> These are the portable instruments. And we tried in one village. And the method is a team of 21 persons. All team arrived at 8.30 in the morning, started work at 9, and finished at 6 p.m. And very simply, The flow, we started at 9, 9.20 finger sticks for rapid tests. Those who are positive go for ultrasound, for PCR, and this. And after three hours, the first patient is ready to receive his treatment. This is for hip C. For hip B, it takes longer. It takes one hour more, so after four hours, this is for hip B. We start at nine, we do the rapid test, we do the PCR, which takes two hours, not one hour, using the gene expert, and after one hour, the first patient of hepatitis B got his treatment in hand. So we concluded that this is feasible. And we can do it. And after that, we went back after uh, two and a half years to nine of these 100 villages to see if the criteria of WHO of elimination have been achieved. And we did that work in nine villages, and we show the reduced incidence in these villages to the extent more than 90% and almost reach what the WHO wants to say, elimination. Last week, Dr. Maria, thanks to Dr. Maria, sent me this publication in Newsweek about Egypt, how Egypt intent on broadening victory against disease how the Egyptian government wants to help the Africans, brothers, to eliminate hepatitis uh, with a national governmental project. 
we are non-governmental and we also have our say. After four days on Wednesday, we will be in Abuja in a village called Shabu village where we are going to have the same day test and treat model to see the feasibility of it on the ground. In Shabu, we will start on the 6th, we will finish on 17th, and hopefully we will diagnose the cases of C and start treatment, B and start treatment, and we uh, are going to uh, put this as a model for Africa. It can be replicated if it was successful, and this shows uh, on the left the first patient who have hepatitis C with the treatment in his hand. Uh, down is the first patient of hepatitis B, and all this work was not possible without the team of our association and our hospital. Thank you.